What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video and we are here with some sad news that former Zag, Aaron Cook, has transferred yes. to Georgia. So now that we know he has for sure transferred, it's official, he is gone, which it can be looked at two ways. It can be looked at as a very sad thing that he's gone or it can be looked at as okay we are a very deep team already we don't necessarily need him and maybe he can go finish his last season in college basketball go out with a bang basically so he he will be uh attending georgia after starting his career with southern illinois uh where not a very big school averaged three points a game as a freshman then he played his sophomore he brought it up to 10 points a game his junior season, he brought it up to uh, 10 and a half. And then in his first senior season, he redshirted after playing six games where he had averaged 15 points a game. And then in his second season, senior season, he transfers to Gonzaga, a place that we all know him from and love him from, where he played 30 games and averaged 4.2 points a game. But he had to come off the bench so in a pretty small sample size uh and was a really good contributor for the gonzaga team that nearly had a perfect season and i hope the best for him uh now going to georgia uh they'll get a good player coming back to georgia after having the first pick in the draft from last NBA draft and anthony edwards now they're going to get to have a good player aaron cook obviously not even comparable skill sets not even like close but i was just saying play, two players that i've heard of in georgia because i don't know georgia is not very talked about college but hey aaron cook hopefully he can go shine there you never know make it to the g league or something like that uh he was one of the seven men in gonzaga's shortened rotation in march madness with anton watson those were the only two players coming off the bench and I felt like he was a very good three-point shooter. He shot 35% last year, which isn't incredible NBA-wise, but it is like, I think it's above average. So I don't even know really what that is. Uh, what that is college basketball-wise. He shot 60%, though, almost 61% in his first uh, retro season where he played six games. And that's on nine attempts a game. He shot 60% on nine and a half attempts a game in only six games, but nine and a half attempts a game to shoot 61%. That's crazy. And then he shot 43 this was the season before, 47 and a half the season before, and then 41. So he's a really good three point shooter that. Oh, tch. okay, 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 okay. I was looking at two-point percentage. That is my bad. He shot 35% for Gonzaga. Then the year before that, where he only played six games, he shot 27 and a half. Then he shot before that 35%. And then before that, 38 and a half percent. And then before that, he didn't play much. I or he just didn't attempt much in his freshman year where he only shot 18 and a half percent somehow. So throughout the last couple of years, he has been a good three-point shooter that I feel like can contribute really well to this Georgia team. Uh, and hey, you never know if he, he'll probably be a starter for this Georgia team. That would be my guess. That's why he would transfer there because I couldn't imagine him transferring there and then not being a starter. Uh, and it's too bad to see him leave Gonzaga. I kind of thought he was going to stay for one more year, but he decided not to. This is his sixth, his sixth season of college basketball. If you look at it, he's played five seasons already, four for Southern Illinois, one for Gonzaga, and now he's going to play his sixth season with Georgia, which usually, like before this season, I don't think had ever been done before because uh, it just was not allowed, but they didn't count this season as eligibility. So it allowed players to come back for another season. And if you had already redshirted a year, that could make it so you had six seasons, which is just insane to think about. Uh, 
and I'm very, very, very excited for him. I hope he can achieve what he wants to. Uh, but yeah, he's very good at, at assists too. He's 17th in the WCC in assists and assists per game uh, from uh, when he was on Southern Illinois. He was up there. Steals, he was up there. Steals per game, he was up there. Uh, three point field goal attempts, free throws, uh, free throw attempts, games. In the WCC, he was sixth in games. Assist percentage, he was up there. Uh, points produced per game. He was up there in turnovers, which is not good. But that was when he was younger. And then minutes played, points produced. Uh, steals per game and minutes played. So, yeah, he's definitely been up there. He's only 6'1". He's like a shooting guard, point guard type guy. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what he runs in Georgia but I know this video came out a little bit late but I'm kind of wondering what you guys think uh, of this because this is his final season I don't think there's any way he could squirm out of it and be like year number seven let's go year number six seems like that's, that's just the last year you could possibly play I can't imagine him being like okay year number seven because uh yeah he's he's just getting old a little old to be playing college basketball uh and the georgia bulldogs which is weird he doesn't even have to change the mascot uh the georgia bulldogs went 14 and 12 uh last season that was 10th in the sec so not the greatest uh but hopefully he can help him get it up to at least a 500 record i think they could definitely do that i'm checking to see if southern illinois what their mascot was oh, okay they're not the they're not the Bulldogs, too. That would have been a really weird coincidence. They are the Salukis. Southern Illinois Salukis. Salukis. Sorry, I'm, I'm pronouncing that wrong because I definitely am. No clue what that is. Uh, but, yeah, guys, that is basically it for the video. Um, let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below because this kind of just caught me off guard. I, I kind of expected him to go to Arizona for some reason, uh, but that did not end up happening. So, uh, he, he will be a very good player for this Georgia team. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Turn the notification bells to all. And that is it. I will see you guys in a later video. Still, you should leave a like. Peace out.